The meeting was a follow-up on the request by the government of Southern Sudan for assistance from Uganda to assist the country in revamping their economy. The Prime Minister, Dr. Hakan Rubunda, said the state of the economy in Southern Sudan affects Uganda's economy as well. It is therefore in Uganda's interest to fix problems affecting Southern Sudan. Strong economic relationship between the two countries, Uganda and South Sudan, is for mutual benefit. That's why we work for and encourage and support the strengthening, stabilization of the economy in South Sudan and of course ending of the conflict so that the economy can flourish, so that the South Sudanese people flourish and their counterparts in Uganda who do business, uh, trade and cross-border investments can also flourish. So it is strengthening of the economies of South Sudan and of Uganda for the mutual benefit of our two peoples and for that matter for the benefit of the region. In order to diagnose the economic situation in Southern Sudan and come up with solutions to revamp the economy, a special workshop was being organized to take place on the 5th of May this year. It will be attended by technocrats drawn from the regional states. The resolutions from this workshop will be utilized by the government of Southern Sudan. The Vice President of Southern Sudan, His Excellency James Wani, requested the Uganda government to assemble a team of economic experts who will make presentations during the workshop. Yes, uh, in South Sudan, uh, we are preparing for a very important regional uh, economic uh, workshop, a seminar. And this seminar will be attended by the countries of the region, including uh, our sister the country, Uganda, uh, so that uh, after that uh, debate, we will have to see the way forward for our mutual and symbiotic uh, benefit of the two peoples. And I believe that will boost uh, the current status of the, not only of the two economies bilaterally, but also of the economies uh, of the other countries in the region and actually beyond. The Vice President also briefed Dr. Gunda about efforts so far taken to pacify the entire country. Michael Mugerwa, UBC News.